Hey guys, it's Bano. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last spot, I recorded that like half a year ago, and I don't know what I'm doing. But I remember, I, I watched back on the old part, got this thing out, we fought Dine, did a thing, did some Chocobo race, and we got this fancy car to prove it. Now, the only issue is. I don't know where we're going. Oh. I don't know where we are going. To fight these enemies. Hit them in the face. What pod? Club! Ah, jeez. One of those guys. He does a buttload of damage. Why is Eris doing the most damage? I, I'm accidentally hitting the uh, skip key. I think they patched this game, so now it's got X input support, so I've, I've just like gone. Oh, I, um. I can now actually control this thing properly. I had to do this combination of like the right button and all this stuff on the gamepad. I don't think, yeah, Eris, I don't have healing on Eris, which is not a great move, if I'm gonna be honest. Why is Eris doing the most damage? Good old Kate Sith. Oh, and also, because I haven't recorded in like six months, I'm gonna need to <laughs> touch up on uh, accents. Shouldn't be too bad though. TS bomb. Okay, so hold on. Wait. Okay. Oh, that exits it. Uh, where are we going? We're going materia. Eris does not have healing material. Who has the healing material? That's the healing material. Do Rama. Rama Dama Ding Dong. This is, this is a little bit of Rama. So that goes nowhere, I don't think. Oh. These battles are a little bit annoying. Because they're with these card guys. Spade! Oh, Spade's okay. Dungeon Dice Monsters, away! Now, also, the worst part is that I have... Wow! Wow! Can I just use that on every boss? Also, why, why is now Cloud doing all the damage? Maybe it's the back attack thing. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Oh, it's not a Spade, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, I, I need to say another thing. I've played some of this because I did record a part 24, like, way earlier. But for some other reason, I don't know why, the x ray didn't like recording back then. So I can go across here. There's a rocky place over here. Ah, dang it. Too, too close. Uh, so I have kind of recorded it. Oh, this egg thing. This freaking egg thing. I remember this egg thing. Um, but, like, it was Eon's back. I don't remember what was happening. And, yeah, there was a reason why I saved every single thing I did, basically. eggs explodes, don't they? I just botched this up, didn't I? Those silver wheels get kind of annoying. Dang it, man. 
Oh, through the legs. So yeah. Um, other things I I can say. Um, I bought Final Fantasy three for eight. I I had eight for a while. I also got thirteen on Steam, and I don't want to let's play those, or at least not blind. This one's going on, and honestly, it's been a long time. I think I'm about halfway through the game, but I don't know. Because normally, what, they end you about level 30 or something, right? I think they do, like, level 30. So this is what it's gonna be, right? Just five minutes grinding through stuff just to get to the town. This is not where I was wanting to be. Although, this will be a good place. Actually, come on, I'll just use the PHS. Probably Barrett's got the healing or something. Hold on. Checking for material. He's got some... There you go, there's Restore. Give him Transform instead. Aeris, give her Restore. There you go. Uh, go back to the player helps. I don't even know. Um, but holy snap! Dude, it's 2015! I got a bunch of things I can talk about for 2015. Um, first of all, uh, I had a really good break. We went to a... Why is the camera... I can't see anything on this camera. Uh, well, at least I can heal from these guys, you know? Um, but, uh... What is this thing? So we went to a bunch of places. We did a bunch of stuff, but I didn't really do a lot of stuff. There's, there's not a lot to talk about other than it was just a family thing, and I can't really plain old family go away holiday trip. But uh, yeah. Um, other than that, when is this video coming out? I've been working on that uh new analytical video. The whole script is done, I just need to record footage and do the video for it. So that's all there. That is on set for, um, that's, that's, should be fine. Ooh, it. That should be fine in a, for a few, I think that's the gold saucer place. Wow, what is with the camera? Can I, can I sort the camera? Oh, it's right stick. Right trigger, right button, seems to be moving the camera to the start, and then right s stick. I don't even know. Flying sickle. Flying sickle. Man, those guys do a lot of damage. I'll tell you that. Give him a good old one-two crit hit. Um. But uh. Yeah, so that, that's coming fine. That should be set for Saturday, I believe. Oh, well, I want to get it out on Saturday. Probably, maybe Sunday, but... But, uh... It should be... Should be good. Um, and this is basically going to be the main thing for a bit. I'm still working on the new Let's Play. I shouldn't be talking too much about plans if we're talking about Final Fantasy, but honestly, I have no clue what's happening. Camera back here. Is there like a water bridge? Is that a water? That is a water bridge. Oh my gosh! You gotta fight these guys again. They're just back for more. Um, give him a good old slap. Punch. Uh, I think they got like three hundred health or something. Um, dang sickle. So yeah, other things. Uh. Wow, what was that? Is that crit? I don't know. Actually, if Eris can do a little bit of break healing, I might as well just do a little bit of break healing. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm glad Pokemon finished well. Because, jeez, I needed to upload that at some point. Uh, but, yeah, so there's no outstanding video. Currently, I've got nothing. This is being recorded fresh, fresh off the print. Uh, Where is it? Is it around this side? I think it is. Yeah, I remember coming out. I think. Yeah, 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 I remember coming out. 
I feel like someone probably said something about heading to the west. So that's why I'm heading to the west. That is a different creature. Let's hit it in the face. Hey, he doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, to do your amazing limit break. Although I think I think I used this limit break once and it sucked. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Still better than, than the friggin' anything else. Well, I think Clouds does a status thing. But, uh... So I can't go up that way, which means I gotta go around. Oh, Maybe I should just keep the map view on this. But yeah, I also got some other RPGs. I bought the um the Yeez games, and I got Legend of Heroes: Trails in the Sky. Stone step. That sounds bad. Is that an attack? That is a long animation. And it missed. Oh. What? Oh, is, is it slowing his time? Is it making it so we can't limit break? What is that second doing? Does he stone after that time? We'll see. One of them said, so that's it. Oh, he does stone after the time. Well, at least... Okay, so he's fine. Okay. Uh, jeez. Can, can I get some repels for this? This, don't I? Again, we've hit water. Hmm. Oh, no, not the bow suck. Ah, no! Not the frogs! The friggin' dancing frogs. Because the worst part about the frogs is when you need to attack something, and there's no damage. Do any magic. It's not like they deal a lot of damage, but it's not that great for a let's play when you need to, you know, get a move on. No, not a song. Ah, oh, no, a sleeping frog, the worst kind of frog. how long these animations take. Man, these animations. Uh, so, other than that, uh, I didn't really record any videos talking about <laughs> the end of last year, really. Like, anything that happened at the end of last year. Honestly, I thought I'm gonna go on and say right now, 2014 was not the strongest for games. And we're not going to talk about outside of the games. I'm pretty sure the game we get discussion has been tried and tested. So I'm not going to really say anything about it other than can it be over please. I... Uh, but in terms of games, 2014 was just the year of Ubisoft not releasing things properly. Another Call of Duty. Battlefield was oddly delayed, I don't even think EA had any huge releases other than The Sims 4, and that was a little bit disappointing. It's a lot of disappointment. And then there was Smash Bros, and Smash Bros was good, but... But it's just like, I can't say if Nintendo does something then the year was great, because like, kinda everyone needs to do something well. And the problem was a lot of the bigger publishers didn't really do anything great. Really, the standout title of the year was like Wolfenstein The New Order. 
And it's like, it's a great title, but... If that's kind of the only title... Mm. I think there were some other good titles. I, um... A lot of people said Monument Valley was very good. Uh... There were some other ones, like... Wow, was that the second one I've taken out? I'm going to be here for minutes. It's not like I can use my magic because I keep getting frogged. Wow. Um, but, yeah, in terms of, uh, Gamergate, I... There's, there's people on the internet who have, like, the internet aristocrat, who apparently isn't around anymore. Uh, and he's, like, just discussed the whole thing. I think, yes. Yes. We shouldn't be relate. In, in something, uh, in a topic... This is my two cents on it. Okay, fine. Because I may as well talk about something. Here's my two cents. In a topic about feminism... In video games. I know I wouldn't define Gamergate as being that, I'd define Gamergate as being the journalism bit and the feminism is just like a leech off of that kind of controversy. But uh when, wow, the crit frog. Uh but the um the implications of feminism in video games, maybe we shouldn't be referring to individuals and a lot of extreme circumstances and a lot of just kind of example figures. There are no stats, it's just examples. I'm all asleep. But yeah, like we have, and, and of course, everyone, everyone's favorite, Anita Sarkeesian. Um, Like, she's the prime example of who is advocating for this feminism thing. And it's like, and then she's using examples to justify her cause. And the problem with examples is that you don't really have evidence. You just have means to infer. There is no, like, proven fact that women are, like, tr treated poorly in games. Are represented poorly in games. I'm playing a game where a woman is, like, the freaking second character here. And she is... She is basically... second to this main character. She is not an object. Man, these frogs are taking their time. Jeez, we've been in like five minutes on this frog battle. I've had boss battles in this game last and less. It's because that freaking frog song. Not only are you nullifying the damage, you're also stopping me from even attacking. It's gonna use the frog song right now. Oh no. It's gonna use the jab. One, two. But he's probably gonna get a song eventually, because I've freaking gotta line that up. There's a song. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Um. The worst part is that I cannot even find the next place. I have no clue where this next place is. You see how this fight is ending up? Just like that. How come he attacks me as soon as I can attack him? Um. So yeah. So. The whole thing. Yeah. With the. With the feminism side at least. There's just no justification on anything. I think I think the reason why people think it's justified to attack individual women uh, is because the whole example thing that works in that case. Sure. Uh, is there a place over here? It really looks like there is a place on the. Oh, it's up. Up there. At least I'm out of the forest, so I'm gonna have to fight the frogs. Here we are. Of course, there has to be another battle, just before. Ah, penguins! Oh, 86. These are tough penguins. Uh, 
So, yeah. As for the journalism bit, I think, yes. Journalism is currently sucking. And it... It's not because of the, you know, sleep with people, get your good, your game, good press, but it's also clearly people are paying f for good reviews. And we shouldn't be in an industry... We shouldn't be, like, having an industry where people pay to have good words spoken of them. I'm okay if you pay to have advertising, but not flat out... Gotta heal this. I'm okay with paying for advertising, but I'm not okay with paying for for good press. I think if it's advertising, you gotta make it clear that you're that you are advertising. Man, K is about to get another level. Jeez, this is like there we are. Can I, can I go in? I gotta get out of this. Oh, wait on. It's got Pokey Russ. Fury! Oh, what's the button? There we go. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I was here. Yeah, okay. So there's a lot of exposition, I remember, when I got to this place. No, I just gotta remember. Kate said that accent. I am home. It is I, Nanaki. Hey, Nanaki, you're safe. Come on and say hi. Hello to Bulgenagen. Bulgenagen. Nanaki. Okay, so I guess I'm going in. Excuse me, dear lad. Welcome to Cosmo Cannon. Are you familiar with this land? Not really. Let me explain. People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. Umga, I'm sorry, it's full now, so I can't let you enter. <laughs> they helped me when I was on the road. Please let them in. Oh, is that so? You helped out Nanaki. Please, come in. Okay. Who is Nanaki? Nanaki is Nanaki. That's his name. Hmm. Okay. Scout out this area, although I think I gotta follow him. I don't think these people said anything like too interesting. That's it. Uh, okay. Guess we'll check out the observatory. This kid probably won't say anything useful. The Cosmo Candle. Holy Flame. Okay. Here is where I was. I mean, this is my hometown. My tribe were protectors of those who, who appreciate this beautiful canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here. My cowardly father left them in the last of my race. Cowardly father? Yes, my father was a race too. And so the mission I inherited from my ancestors is to protect this place. My journey ends here. And Anarchy, you're home. Come in, Grandpa. Bit angry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just dead tired. Everyone, how about some rest? I have completely forgotten about Kansas X. Let me try that. Taste cocktails, pub starlet, fluffy beds in children. Come in today. It's near the candle. Oh. Oh yeah, you know what I found? I, I don't know. I don't know if this was in a. If I said this in the previous part, but one of these buttons. Yeah, one of these buttons. Puts up a frigging like arrows telling you where you can go in and <laughs> what you can interact with and stuff. Okay. Go on up the stairs. I think this is where you sleep for the night. Um. So yeah. So the whole journalism business. Yeah. I think uh, there needs to be better journalism. I think the the most. Oh, I, crap. I think the uh, the thing that needs to most be addressed is the scoring system on games. I don't like it. It it's, it doesn't. It's it's too generalized. And this guy he sells a bunch of stuff. I think I might. Stock up on a couple of those ethers. Yeah, no. There goes all my money. Um, but yeah, the the scoring system it's too generalized because it tries it doesn't differentiate between 
something that is good, it doesn't really have a lot of bad things, and something that is amazing, but is deeply flawed in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? Uh, ooh, we can save here, but I'll save at the end of the part, because I think we're a little bit... Something you can really use, such as... That is a better knife, that is a much better thing, but I think I'm going to abandon Tifa. As a, as a long range weapon, that's nice. Staff is good. Uh, I don't have anything for Kate's. Oh, I do have that. Got the silver armor, which is nice, but. Who gets the pinwheel? I think. I don't know who gets the pinwheel. If we, if, we, if we need anything, we'll come back for that. Because that stuff looks good. Um, so I think we gotta go up here. Bulgnagen, the super glue, super glue, Bulgnagen. Excuse me, I can't see where I'm going. It's weird playing this game at 1080p because you can clearly see the resolution on the on the pictures and the things. Ah, I don't have too much of a problem with it. People said this is a bad PC port. I'm like, it's a faithful PC port, but it works properly. Sure, it doesn't really pull any HD stuff, but I don't think you really need any. It's got that charm. Oh man, he doesn't even have any arms! I think he does have arms. Cloud, this is my grandfather, Bulgan. He's incredible, he knows everything. Hoo hoo hoo, I hear that you looked after Nanaki. Nanaki is still a child, you see. Please stop, grandfather, I'm 48. Jeez, hasn't even gotten laid yet. No. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nanaki's tribe has incredible longevity. So you see, his 48 years would be well, would only be equivalent to say that of a 15 or 16 year old in human reckoning. 15 or 16? He's quiet and very deep. You thought he was an adult. Grandfather, I want to be an adult. I want to grow up and to be able to protect you and the village. Oh, oh, oh. oh Nanaki, you can't stand on your own yet. To do that now would destroy you in the long run. Reaching up into the heavens, threatening to snatch the very stars from the great city of Midka. You've seen it, haven't you? Well, that's a bad example. Looking up too much makes you lose perspective. Man, the wise old man doesn't even have legs. When it's time for the planet to die, you'll understand that you know absolutely nothing. When the planet dies? Oh, oh, oh. it may be tomorrow or a hundred years from now but it's not long off. How do you know this? I hear the cries of the planet. Uh, uh, excuse me, dear lad. Um, I made the camera pan. What's that? The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, the planets are born and die. You know, I love astro uh, astrology. I'm gonna go and say that. What was that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. That was a scream from the planet. Didn't you hear it? As if to say, I hurt, I suffer. They have come here on a journey to save the planet. Why don't you show them your apparatus? Oh, 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 to save the planet? Oh, oh, oh. But then again, I guess it wouldn't hurt to show it. Bukenagen. Right, well, Bukenagen. Several odd looking people are here. The whole place is gotten busy all of a sudden. He brought friends too. I'll go get them. I think Cloud is just gonna stay there. Cloud, please call one of them. Only three people can fit in Grandfather's machine. What? Don't worry, my machine won't run away. Go and invite your friends. Uh, okay. Dang it! Why couldn't they just make it a simple menu? Instead, they had to put everyone around the place. I, rem I remember doing this. This was a little bit, like, tedious. I don't know why they're in different places. So, okay. Um. So, yeah. The question is, where are the friends? Are they in the shop? I don't think they are in the shop. They are not in the shop. <laughs> Dang it. Um, what if they were 
in this place that I think I went to once. I don't. Do I go in here? I, I don't know. Now you get to see what's in. Oh, this is. It's not even a place. It's not even a place. Okay, um. So where'd they go? In that case, they must be off in the side places. I just walked all that way. And then I even, uh. So who's my idea? There's Barrett. Where did I put it? I know it was around here. Uh, I would rather bring, um, Eris, purely because Eris is cute. Barrett got his time to shine, like, in the previous parts. And Tifa, I think Tifa's fine. You run, <laughs> Classic. Uh, who's over here? Katesis over here. Well, I mean, I could bring Katesis then. Uh, so who was out here? So where's Eris? Yo, Eris, where you at? Is, is this a house? I don't think anyone's up here. <laughs> this is a weird ladder. Um, hmm. What happens if we talk to Kessler? Oh. Sure. Actually, we'll bring Brad. We'll bring, we'll bring two. So, okay. Here, over here, the door's unlocked. Come on. Okay. Hello, Bugnag. Oh, oh, oh. It looks like you have them all together. Then let's begin. I stand there. Okay. What? Oh. oh, that's a nice, a nice little light. So pretty. It's just like the real thing. Hmm, yes, pretty good. This is my laboratory. All of the workings of space are entered into this 3D holographic system. Why is he flying? Hey, a shooting star! Space, the final frontier. Space is happening. Like, actually, space is happening. Watch out! Oh. It's the great prognosticus. Wow, how wonderful. Oh, 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 yes, it is something, isn't it? Well, let's get to the subject. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they die? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. That much everyone knows. What about their consciousness, their hearts and their souls? The soul, too, returns to the planet. And not only those of humans, but everything on this planet. In fact, all living things in the universe are the same. The spirits that return to the planet merge with one another and roam the planet. They roam, converge, and divide, becoming a swell called the life stream. Life stream, in other words, a path of energy of the soul roaming the planet. Spirit energy is a word that you should never forget. A new life, children are blessed with spirit energy and are brought into the world. Then, the time comes when they die. 
and once again return to the planet. Of course, there are exceptions, but this is the way of the world. I digress, but you'll understand better if you watch this. Oh, more full motion video! Yeah! How does this guy know so much about space? Watch out for the green snot ball, Earth! Oh, that was close. Uh-oh. The particles. Ah! Oh. Ooh. That's pretty. I wish trees were that big, because we make the earth look funky. And thus, the internet was born. Spirit energy is the source of life for trees, birds, and humans. Not only living things, it makes it possible to form planets. So basically, dead people can make a planet. And if that spirit energy were to disappear... It's got the force, mate. Oh! Oh! There it goes! Oh, where'd he go? Everything would die. Oh. <laughs> These are the basics of the study of planet life. What's going on down there? A cloud is behind the camera here. If spirit energy disappears, our planet will die. Oh, oh. Spirit energy is efficient bec because it exists within nature. When spirit energy is forcefully extracted and manufactured, it can't accomplish its true purpose. You're talking about Mako energy, right? Every day, Mako reactors suck up spirit energy, diminishing it. Spirit energy is compressed in reactors and processed into Mako energy. All living things are being used up and thrown away. In other words, Mako energy will only destroy the planet. So basically, it's an environmental message. Oh, where are they gone? Where'd they go? Oh, back through. Just heading back down here. Man, it looks a lot bigger on the um, inside. You know? Woo! <laughs> story of the planets and those who live with them. If you want to know more, then you must listen to the words of the elders. See ya! Okay, well that was that was a fun science demonstration extravaganza. Uh... uh okay. So, I... I don't really know what else to do this part. I guess we, we fought a lot of random stuff. We, um, had an environmental message shoved into a, uh, science documentary. So, I'm going to save the game. And... This was the slot it was on. I think I took kids Alright. Well, anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time. See you kids then.